I actually like four inch workouts. It's my favorite workout. But it's pretty standard. Pretty much probably most teams do workouts like that. Um, it's more speed endurance, so it's it's really working on not so much developing speed, but just getting us used to running um, race pace or, or maybe a little sub race pace for um, high volume of mileage. It's not to be super fast in the sense of something they can't repeat multiple times for the women. I think most of them did around 12 to 14 of them that particular day. Um, for the guys, most of them I think did about 20. Here's the kicker on the first one, guys. It's not a hammer. You get out and you get settled into a race and somebody makes a move and you have to respond to that move or cover it. It gets your body out of its rhythm of running a certain pace and having to kind of get yourself a little into an uncomfortable, uncomfortable place or a discomfort zone. I'd say it's probably safe to say you could probably run a fast mile right now. Also, don't look at your watch until you finish. You start it, but then after that, just wait till you finish. You kind of learn to pay attention to what, how you're supposed to start and what that feels like, how the first mile should feel, and then so on and so forth, so you know how your body can react and make those adjustments according to what you've done in practice as opposed to, well, the watch said I ran six minute miles, but you have no idea what that really feels like. I know a lot of people depend on that watch to tell them like if they're on pace or if they're too fast, and it's sometimes hard to adjust to run how you feel and based on like what the watch is saying. Good job, girl, good job. Christian. Why do you think Call of Duty beats Halo? Because Halo needs to expand to different systems. We actually have some pretty interesting debates, um, probably almost on a daily basis. Justin, how about you do a little uh, 62? Just cruise on through it! Finish strong!